First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. From the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're going to start out with the chart we looked at yesterday from Stansbury's research, showing the major ABCD cycle from 1987, August 19th. That was this low right back here on the bottom. There's the ABCD to the upside. You can see the time sequence is within a few months when you stop and think that this is over 40 years that's pretty much spot on so this last little ABCD here of course was the crash of 2009 I bring this to your attention for one reason and there is a possibility and I don't know if it's right or not but we got a really cool chart from somebody that forwarded us on it shows us let's get this up here take a look at the guy's name that sent it to me was named Bannock, or Bianic or something like that. I, I forgot to write it down. Hold on to your second. I want to get up here. I uh, haven't checked it, but it looks like it's correct just from uh, what's happening. This shows the Januaries, folks, from uh, back when I was trading, starting there in 1976. We didn't have we uh, that you know that I was trading at Drexel. That's where I started in August of 76. This is the worst January, folks in all these 40 years. Look at this. Compared to all the other Januaries, look where it is. Man, if, if this is indication of what things are to come, just be really careful, boys and girls. Okay, we're having a good rally today. I thought we were going to be bottoming uh, tomorrow or today. And uh, I would, uh, you know, I, I said we'll probably have a pretty good rally off of this because it's very oversold. But we're having a rally in a bear market, folks. So that's all I can tell you. All right. First question. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank a couple of our listeners that uh, sent me really nice emails. WR there in New York City, the Upper East Side. Wanda, thank you so much for that lovely email. That just made my day. And Jackie L. Jack, thanks for sending me your email, too. These folks have been doing pretty good, and I, it really makes me feel really happy when I get stuff like this. Now, I want to talk to you just a tiny bit about something that is really near to my heart, and that is natural gas, okay? Now, here is the chart that we were looking at this morning. Let's just get this up here. And I was involved with this, and that's why I've doubled my dosage of Digitalis to get my heart started again. This was the 382 retracement right here, as you can see, bada-bing, bada-boom. These moves, folks, uh, that's a lot of money. I mean, between this spot and this spot, is pretty good okay the difference is I was buying down here and I was buying down here looking for this rally to possibly get up here a I missed my buy right here okay I see the market go way up now look what happened next if you think these markets are normal you better rethink the old well natural gas isn't normal but by golly some of these others uh, really are. So let me get the second one on natural gas just to show you what it did over the preceding few hours. Okay, where is it? Larry, where? I think this is it. Yep, hold on just a second. Get this up here. Okay, this is the one I want to show you now. All right, now this is just a three minute chart because you will not believe these swings. I didn't believe it when I was seeing it. And I, you know, frankly, it got so wild. What I did was I just stood aside. I was trying to buy down in this area, and I missed it. Look what happened. We went all the way up here, folks. You're talking a move. You're talking – there's three moves here, folks, up, down, and down. That's a, this distance right here from this distance right there was $15,000 in 10 minutes. Now, if you want to trade a market like that, more power to you because what I'm going to do – 
on our special trading day on September 20th. I'm going to show you how to pick that high and pick that low and pick that high and pick that low and pick this high. I'm going to show you how to do every single one of those. And if you believe that, you will also get two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Nobody can do anything like that, folks. That's a wildest action. What I, uh, the only thing I can figure is that there had to be two commercials fighting it out. I haven't seen this big a move in anything for a very long period of time. I mean, very, 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 very long, like maybe never. That's almost $15,000 in 10 minutes, folks. Then it goes up to the 61% retracement, and then it's quiet. And then, of course, it starts to uh, sell off, just like the other things we're doing. Okay, another one. People have asked me how do I do on some what I'm doing on some of these trades, and I'm trying to explain to you, you know, what I do because I prepare myself for them. But sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's all it's all related to, uh, you know, probability. Now, if you remember yesterday, we were watching the euro because of the relationship that we had with the U.S. dollar. I'm going to go through that right now, and then I'll cover the crude oil after this. And get up here to show you. But here was the euros, what we were looking at yesterday. Remember, we had this three drive to a top pattern. Then we came down, and this is where we had that topping pattern in the dollar index. I'm going to go through that again. So we were down here at major support here. And so what I was assuming is we're probably going to get a pretty good rally off of that, just based on what that dollar index chart is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see what the euro did. And you'll be able to understand what we're doing here right now because the euro had one really nice move today. And I'll get this up here and I'll show you how we're watching it. And there's where we are. And you can see the euro got all the way up to this level up here, folks. This is where we were reaching up into this area right here. This tells us that that U.S. dollar index is probably making some type of a pretty good top. And that's why, boys and girls, we're probably seeing this really nice move in gold. Remember, I was bullish gold yesterday, had my stop uh, a little bit too close. But thanks to Mr. Fibonacci, let's get him up here to take a look at it this morning. What I was watching was, okay, if that bottoms in, all I have to do is do what I usually do, wait for the retracement. And there was your 61% retracement right in here. And now we're making the ABCD level up here at 1726. Uh, so those are the kind that you want to be looking at. We had a lot of reasons thinking this was going to be a serious bottom, you know, because we were down so far. But now we're having this rally to the upside. And that should keep it, you know, for a, a period of time anyway. Now, when we come back, I'm going to... Uh, walk through the sequences of crude oil. Someone's asked me to talk about crude oil because we were saying that if the crude oil did not hold the bottom last night at 8,600, it was in big, big trouble. Uh, we said that in the video, and I want to go through that to show you what happened because it was uh, it was really very interesting, and I and I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy it very very much. Well, maybe you won't, but I enjoy it, so that makes it worthwhile. At least from my standpoint. Okay, let's get this. So well, we got a, a couple of bills to pay here, and uh, we'll be uh, well. We got 27 seconds. There we go. We'll be right back. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have a chart of the uh, crude oil. Last night, remember I sent out, those of you that take the 24-7, I said, watch how crude oil acts when it makes new lows. The low had been 80, 85, 85, and as you can notice here, we were making, this was 15-minute chart, we had this beautiful ABCD pattern. There's A, B, C, D coming in right here, and as you can see, that's a three-drive pattern. The trouble is, you see it misses it by about 20 points. By the time I got notice that we were doing this, someone had you know dropped me a, a WhatsApp message to tell me, hey, crude oil may have turned. And then I looked at it, and I put an order in to buy it at the 382, and I was about two and a half minutes late on that one. And then it took off and went all the way up here. So I just I said, oh, forget it. I'm not going to mess with it. And I didn't look at it. And, of course, folks, we came down here like a rocket, went through here like it didn't even exist. Because once that low was broken at 85, that tells us that the price objective on crude oil is most probably close to 78 to $75 a barrel. Now, stop and think. That takes out the January lows of seven months ago, and that's during the time when there was a war and oil always goes up during a war, right? Well, it went up on a war in March at 130, and now it's almost one half of that price. So you got to be really careful, folks. You know, just when you listen to the news, you know, remember, watch what the prices are doing. That's what's going to get you to the promised land. I can say no more or no less about that. Okay. Now, I want that, that was the crude oil that I wanted to. Uh, walk through uh, with you on that because once it started to break it broke really badly and i just said whoop stand aside i probably should have sold it on the 382 on the way down but we really didn't get anything like that at all okay now here's another one i this was a beautiful trade i just have to show you this one today because remember let's do the uh, well i'll do this one first and then I'll do the second one because they both uh, they both had uh, the same pattern, and I wanted to get it up here. This is one of our favorites. This is wheat. Now, you see wheat is trading here at around 852. Uh, you remember the high just a few months ago when there was no wheat in the world at 12 or 1370 a, a, a bushel? And then it went down to $7 a bushel. Now it's 8, uh, eight and change. 
So there again, there was the news right out the window. But you can see the beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right there. And so being at finishing at point D, you can see it's very quiet here. 8.52, I sell it at 8.52. It's about 20 minutes before the market closes. And of course, I'll show you what happened next after that because it relates to one other trade that we were doing and I wanted to bring that one up to you too. Now here's wheat afterwards. And this is why you've got to remember that it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the key to this whole darn mess. And as you can see here with this, we opened right here. You see that at 52, we backed off to 845 and then we went to 874. We went way up here. Now, I'm only risking four cents on that trade. And uh, so I ended up uh, uh, getting out of it. But, but those of you that were listening to us yesterday, I was saying to you, be really important to pay very, very close attention to one of the big things out there in the world. And that is nothing but that beautiful yellow corn. And here we're going to post it up here and show you because this one worked extremely well. Let's get this up here. Yeah, it's going to be fun doing this thing on the 20th together because uh, that, that five hours goes faster than anything that you can do. Look at that beautiful ABCD. Same thing that we had in the wheat. It ends at, at uh, 888, 688. Okay, that was high. Now, wheat went through the ABCD by 30 cents. Okay, corn did not. Corn came all the way back down. And went, I think it was down 16 cents at one time. Well, I know it was down 16 cents at one time because that was the, the first profit objective. So that's what we're watching. Now, a sequel to the wheat is when I have something like the wheat that did what it did, going straight up, I try to find out why. And so all I do is I, I know from the Floor Traders Handbook that wheat has a tendency to top right after the open within 15 or 20 minutes. And th that's the statistics behind it. And uh, if we take a look at this chart, you're going to see what happened because all I did was I take the AI over it, which basically is a way of looking at two-minute charts and the cycles that are in there. And look at this. You have a beautiful three drive to a top pattern up here at 874. And what I did was I waited for this little 382 retracement right here, and I sold it there and got all my money back plus about 14 cents. So I was a happy camper. Not that I always worked that way, but that's what I was doing when I was watching it. These markets, they have a, a cadence to them that is just absolutely uh, unbelievable. Oh, I missed one here on the natural gas. I have to show you this because this is the one I was trying to find before. Because let's get back to the natural gas, but because you've got to see the, the volatility here, folks. This is just absolutely, totally what we think is mind boggling. I mean, you're looking, a market goes from 83 down to 76. That's $6,000. Then it goes up seven thousand dollars. That's thirteen. Then it comes down seven thousand dollars. That's twenty thousand dollars, and then up again that to uh, uh, four thousand. So it ran twenty-four thousand dollars. This is a three-minute chart, and it did it in fifteen minutes. And uh, if you have a moving average that works with that one, give me a call. I'd really like to hear that. That would really be one I'd like to listen to. Now, because you've been so kind to listen to me today, I'm going to give you a free trip across the pond, and we're going to take a look at the old footsie. And we'll take a see what's going on with that. Folks, I don't know if you know it or not, but these markets are acting extremely bearish, so be really careful in here. You can see the FTSE starting to roll down. I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, the new prime minister that they have. It's been in a downtrend. You can see the really nice head and shoulders pattern that was here, and then the move down, the nice Gartley, and then down some more. So those are just uh, come with some of the things that we're looking at. Since we're over there, we'll take a look at the German DAX. Hold on one second here. We'll have Paula Webb coming up pretty soon. And uh, when she is done giving us her little presentation, I have some more charts uh, to talk to you about, along with some trading ideas that uh, we're going to be talking about on the special day of the 20th. You can see here uh, we have this big move down. This is even more bearish, folks, and it's dropping and dropping and dropping. Uh, we have this big cycle due uh, tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, Friday, hopefully. Well, tomorrow will be um, Peter Elides. 
Uh, I talked to Peter yesterday. He's been swamped, but he's going to try to be in tomorrow. And Friday, we've got Dr. David Paul will be our guest. And I always enjoy him because we do seminars with uh, he and I and Tom Hugard, and he's very, very good with the psychology. He's one of the guys that uh, made uh, Tom Hugard the, the monster trader he is today because uh, you know, he trades sizes like you just uh, like, <laughs> like you can't believe. So pretty soon we will have Paula Douglas coming up here uh, as our guest, and she'll be talking to us uh, about that. And I hope we covered the things that we needed to cover. But uh, just be really careful out there, folks. It's a jungle out there, and it's not always a good jungle. So be really, really super, super careful. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have Paula Tomasini Webb Douglas as our guest. And Paula, we have a question from one of our listeners. Good morning. Good morning. The question that the person is asking is, we have heard that you are now a sheriff's chaplain for the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department. Is that true? With the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, yes. Riverside, oh, I was in the wrong county. Okay, Riverside County. And the question is, do you keep your Glock in an ankle holster? <laughs> uh, no, I got the belly belt. Ah, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the, the, folks, uh, actually, uh, Paula married Sarah and I, and she is a, a minister, and gosh, she's been doing this for such a long time. I remember 
Oh, I sh- should tell these stories because I think they'd like to know. When you lived in Scottsdale, you did a lot of weddings and some funerals and stuff. And, you know, when you first started doing this, I said, gee, I, I don't know if she really wants to do this or not. But after about two weeks, I realized how busy you were, you know, doing it and how many people you counseled over those years. I mean, Mark told me some stories that just uh, if I had any hair left, I'd say it would have curled my hair. But uh, you do a great <laughs> job, and, uh, in- including me. I happen to be one of the patients. <laughs> Question <laughs> Two, what the question? This is a legitimate one. How do you? How does a person that keeps doing the same thing every day, doing the same thing, just keep doing it and doing it and doing? It? Even though they know they're wrong and they're doing something wrong, why do they keep doing it, Paula? Because that's their comfort zone. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's just repetition, and and there's they have a belief that maybe today I'll have a different outcome. Wow. And and the reason that I say that is because a lot of traders call me up and they say, and I'm quoting, I've been, uh, quote, at this for years, oh, yeah. and I still can't raise my equity. And I said, what do you mean you're at it? What, 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 you, you're at a football game. You know, you're yeah. at the grocery store. You're not at trading. You know, you're either in it or you're not. Uh, so so that's kind of where that comes from when, when they have a repetitive action they, keep, they do have a belief that, okay, if I keep doing this, it's eventually going to shake out better. Do you have ways of breaking this sequence? Sure. Give me a call. Okay, I've, already, I've, already, <laughs> I've already done that. I'm thinking of other people, too, because you helped me do it for me yeah. anyway. Yeah, I, no, I'm not talking about you. And no. she had to, she had to yeah, use a hammer on you, me. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if, if a trader is seeing that they're repeating a behavior, then it's real simple. Get a pad of paper and write down before you start trading every morning, why am I repeating this behavior that I know is not bringing me the kind of results I want? Why, why, why? And you will hear the answer in your brain. It'll yeah. say, well, I'm afraid of loss, I, uh, you know, FOMO, you know, I don't want to look yeah. stupid, I don't want to, whatever. It'll come to you, write it down on the piece of paper. And then you can say, okay, well, that's, that's ridiculous. I don't, have, I don't have to believe that anymore about myself. Yeah. That's how it gets yeah. started. That's what you have to do. You have to have someone to push you through the door, too, and that's what you do. What else are you looking right. at for today, Paula, that you might have for the folks? Well, just, you know, just keep in mind that, as, as I said, I think a couple of sessions ago, you know, we're, we're living in some interesting times. Uh, like the old Chinese curse says, and um, and so a lot of hesitation traders might be feeling right now is because there is an underlying current of uncertainty, and so you just have to kind of understand that and that it's not necessarily you personally that's hesitating, but it's just the energy of everything that's going on in in you know the markets and and world events. So. Um, again, get your pad of paper out and say, am I hesitating because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in the world or am I hesitating because I'm not sure about my trades? So you have to kind of define that because that's kind of that's that's the, the world we're in right now. There's a lot of stuff going on and it's crazy. And but so we have to stay focused and know if if we're hesitating because of world events or just ourselves. Yeah, well, that certainly makes makes really really good sense. Um, tell the folks uh, how they can reach you if they have something they would like to discuss, because you do you do do some analyzing for them free of charge, don't you? Before they move forward. Absolutely, there's a free yeah. chat. It's open to everyone, any level of yeah. traders, uh, novice all the way up to experts. Um, I'm here to yeah. chat and just see you know what's going on with you. And lots of times, that's all they need is just to make sure they're on the right track. That's that's part of what I do too. Yeah. So you can reach me at markdouglas.com or paulatweb.com, same website, it goes to the same place. My phone number is 760-636-4290. And give me a call, let's have a chat. Yeah. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a week from today is a very special astrological day, isn't it? Monday, actually. Is Monday's your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it Monday? Oh, darn, I thought it was the 14th. I know, I know, I know. But oh, no, it's, God. yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to be 49. I knew that, yeah. Again, 
uh, again, <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I give that. Up. You know what people don't realize, Paula, is that you know we're talking people, no, novices. My, myself, I'm still a novice, but everybody else. But you know, Mark and you, and you were involved with this too because you had so many of these people that actually were per, living, going in and out of your condo there, in Chicago. What they these guys were super millionaires and some, you know, they went through some things that, you know, people wouldn't believe the drawdowns that they had and the marital problems that they had. And yet they made it through, but they, they had to go through periods where they had to, you know, go through really bad periods in order to get to the good periods, didn't they? Yes. That's just all yeah. part of the learning curve. Yeah. And, and for it sure some, is. it takes a little longer for others and, you know, uh, whatever, but, you know, the average was, you know, two to four, maybe five years on the outset if somebody's really stubborn, um, yeah. to be to maintain consistency. So, yeah. guys, if you're in it for a year, you know, or two years, you know, don't give up. I mean, you're, you, yeah. you know, you're. It just takes a little bit of time and effort. Yeah, not giving up. You know, that's the main thing. Never, never, never give up. The old speech by Winston Churchill is always one of my favorite. Well, listen, folks. Right. I hope you pay attention to Paula and give her. A, uh, jingle Lear to her website and we'll have you on again in a few weeks okay sounds good stay cool okay especially where you are right what is it about 110 today uh, like 120 but 55 oh. percent humidity and a very dry heat correct yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's why i bought the cabin up north yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay thanks for joining us sweetie and we'll have you on again soon okay okay anytime okay you bet Okay, uh, you bet. Paula T. Douglas, folks, if you're having trouble, give her a call. She's really good. She's certainly helped me and, and a whole lot of other people. Uh, so, and she, you know, the, what, she, the, what she charges is uh, minuscule compared to what sometimes you can lose in the market. So remind ourselves of that. Okay, uh, let's move on here to a couple other things. Uh, someone just jingled me to tell me that the market's making new highs. Not anything wrong with that, but by golly, I would have preferred it making a new low would have fit in better with what I was thinking. But, you know, it doesn't always do what I think it's going to do, which we already know that. So keep in mind, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And I have a couple of questions that were emailed to me that I'll cover uh, when we get back. And that's my main question is, how do I handle losing? And you know what? I'll tell you very simply, when we get back, that's the easiest thing for me to do because I do it so often. Remember, Kobe Bryant shot more free throws than he missed than anybody else in basketball. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is your lucky day today because we have a caller on the line from Philly. It's no, nobody else than Mr. Z. John, how are you doing? Uh, Larry, I'm doing very well. I, uh, I always enjoy hearing the conversations between you and Paula. She's a, uh, she's a terrific lady. Man, that's the understatement of the year. She sure is. She's, uh, she and Paul were uh, connected at the hip for 30-some years, I'll tell you. they really great people. And, and by the way, go right ahead, my friend. You have a question about the gold market? I do, Larry. Uh, over the years, you've taught me extremely well, where, uh, as you well know, I do the work myself and take um, – take responsibility for all decisions and choices I personally make. That said, um, yesterday's, on yesterday's show, you articulated a change in your thinking, uh, uh, a change being instead of shorting COMEX gold, seeking to profit, uh, you actually flipped and were trying on the buy side. <clears throat> Could you just go through uh, for me and all your listeners what changed as you look through the charts uh, leading you to that personal conclusion, please? That, that's my, that's sure. my question, please. Sure. I'll try, John. I posted a chart. It's a four-hour chart of gold going back over the last five weeks. And as you know, we were shorting this all the way down. And uh, you can see the ABCD patterns and somewhere below 1,700, which was the uh, 382 of the big low that went way back to seven, uh, 1,676. That was where the 382 came in. And we also had a – you can see the double ABCD patterns that were in there. Well, I, I got in a little too early, lost, but then – Today, you know, I was waiting for a little retracement. I got lucky on that one. But that's what I was looking at, John. And the fact that it's taken that long to go from, you know, where we were, $100 an ounce, $130 an ounce lower. It took a full month to do that with two double ABCD patterns in there. I have to assume that we're going to get a pretty good rally. Now, we're getting a good rally today, but uh, it's not nearly enough to you know get anybody excited. we got to get it above 1750, 1760, then, then it's going to be uh, moving pretty good. What surprised me is how quickly silver has bounced back uh, almost a dollar an ounce. So there's some people have an interest in this, and you know we were close in there uh, with that number, but uh, you know I, I don't, that's why that's mainly why I changed is because of that. And the open interest has been favorable because you know open interest in silver and gold has been dropping. You know that's a sign that the market is strengthening, and maybe that's what we're seeing here today. Yeah, very good, Larry. I appreciate that, uh, and I'm going to give you two data points to complement what you just said on silver. Um, uh, first points, uh, silver uh, late last week dipped under the July low. I think that July low and the, the current contract was seven, excuse me, 1801. 
So uh, the current lead contract, the Dease contract, slipped last week down to 1740, but quickly snapped back above that prior low 1801. Uh, I was taught extensively and very well by Jim Flanagan out there in Los Angeles area. And uh, in looking at uh, deeply oversold markets, he found something that worked for him that I've adopted over the years, and that is that uh, move below a prior low, flush out the stops sitting below the weak hands, if you will, and then a snap back above, forming what Jim called a bear trap to a bottom pattern. That's what I think we are seeing here in that decent silver. That's number one. Number two, Larry, I'll uh, uh, tell you that I analyze the commitment of traders data coming out of the CFTC. That comes out every Friday at three o'clock. From time to time, and it's infrequent that you get interesting signals out of that data. However, what I can share with you is, for example, in silver over the past three years, when we got up to that 27, then up to the $30 area, the speculators had loaded the boat full long. Uh, the commercials had taken the other side of that. They are typically right in the case of silver up at 27 and up at 30. The commercial shorting the bejesus out of silver up there were in fact correct. Interestingly enough, however, down as we got down to 18 and just under these past couple of weeks, uh, the speculators actually have flipped to the short side, which is incredibly rare to be net shorts, meaning the commercials have taken the other side and are net long. That's a very rare setup. And I've never, you know, I've, I've been trading me, I've been analyzing silver for 30 years, trading it actively for maybe eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've never seen a situation where the price of silver stayed down when the commercials had gone the net long. And that happens incredibly infrequently. So that's, for me, it's just a huge buy signal on that silver. And I guess the same would translate into gold. Wow. Yeah, I agree with you there. And it, it looks like it could have legs, John. I mean, this is one that, uh, you know, could really just explode that, uh, you know, if it, if, it, if, it, if these buyers are there like we think they are, this could really be a monster move uh, in the gold market. So keep our fingers yeah, crossed. And, and, uh, and just, uh, you know, another thing I've uh, learned from you uh, extensively is, you know, find your entry points and be particular about how much you're willing to risk. Uh, you know, the the winners will take care of themselves, and that's kind of my attitude here. But just just to supplement what you just said there, uh, things could really run merely by the speculator group coming back to the long side, which they've abandoned uh, here in the past couple of weeks. So, uh, you know, what, what I've come to see in uh, past decades is when speculative traders get wrong-footed and get uh, way on the wrong side of an extended market, either the low or the high side, uh, market moves of 10 to 20 percent uh, are common and oftentimes likely in very brief periods of time just by those speculators reversing those lopsided positions. So um, if uh, if we do get a 10 to 20 percent rally in gold, I'll just attribute it to that reversal of the speculative crowd for dead other fundamentals out there. So uh, food for thought, we'll take it one step at a time. And I appreciate you sharing your logic behind uh, your change and in positioning well, on that gold market. There was one other thing, John, and that was the possibility of that top that we saw, the triple top, uh, you know, the three drive to a top pattern in the dollar index up at there at that 110.50 and change. It went to 110.70, slightly higher high, then reversed. And, of course, the euro has got above par here just a few minutes ago. I heard my beeper go off. So that tells us, yes, there's people are buying 
you know, the euro against the dollar. And this may or may not be a short term move, but it's going to be interesting for sure. Thanks for calling in, John. We appreciate it. Thanks, Larry. You bet. John Sherman, please. He is one of the best. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. And during the break, I checked to see that we're making new highs in the S&P, the Dow Jones, and the Russell, and NASDAQ. We've been down for quite a while, folks, but we're due for this rally, and I thought it was going to be a bottom here coming in with Mercury retrograde and the full moon, but it may be a top, so just be careful. The market is in bad bad straits, folks. Even though we're really strong today, long term, it doesn't look very good. I can, I can vouch for you. Today it's up. Tomorrow could be down, but uh, longer term, this pattern that we're looking at is extremely bearish. I was assuming we were going to get a pretty good rally here today. Um, and yesterday I said we're probably bottoming in. I think it would be yesterday or today. And, uh, you know, whether it's going to keep going or not, you know, I don't know. But we're up, uh, I just heard, over 300 points uh, in the Dow Jones. The crude oil is collapsing as we speak. It's uh, really close to breaking below $82 a barrel. Remember, 
the ABCD on this crude oil measures to a 78 to 76 dollars a barrel, just about one half of what it was back in January. So uh, let's remind ourselves that uh, what goes up uh, must come down, and what goes down also can go up. So remind ourselves. We're also having almost a really strong rally in Treasury bonds. I mentioned in the video last night that it, at 132, it was having a hard time going through that, that it looked like it had a chance to have a pretty good rally, just a short covering rally in bonds of what this is. But we went from 132.02 up to 133.20 something, I believe, already today. Uh, of course, with being helped by the movement in stocks and stuff, but uh, at least some of the bearishness has, uh, you know, taken its uh, toll on the bonds, and we're getting a pretty good, you know, short covering rally uh, in that. The gold made our target up here at 17.30 on that ABCD we were looking at early this morning. So remind ourselves of that tomorrow. Our guest will be Peter Elides. He will start out the show uh, in the morning, and we'll be able to ask him questions and stuff. One of the questions, of course, will be about Lucas numbers that we had with uh, Stan Harley. So we're going to keep that, uh, keep watching that also. So those are a few things that we're paying attention to today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Mm -hmm.